greetings to all of you in the name of Jesus, those who are fasting with us. It's our sixth day. By the grace of God, I believe all of you are alive and strong because God gives strength to the weak. I believe that those that wait upon the Lord, God shall renew their strength and they will mount up with wings as eagles. They'll run and not become weary. They'll walk and never faint. I believe these promises were real to you. According to Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31, I'm releasing these prayers. Will you pray along with, alongside with me as I proclaim, as you proclaim? I want us to deal with the secret sins. Psalms chapter 90 verse 88, the Bible says, Thou hast set out our iniquities before thee, our secret sins, in the light of thy countenance. As we pray, the only thing that will hinder among many things is, is the secret sins, the sins that we don't confess before God, according to 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us uh, from all unrighteousness in the blood of Jesus Christ who cleanses us from all unrighteousness. If we walk in the light as He is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, verse 7 says... Uh, as you pray alongside, destroy every secret sin. Make sure that you don't rob yourself from confessing every sin that might hinder you during this fasting. The devil has no power. The kingdom of darkness has no power except the power that we give them. The loopholes, the entry points that we give. According to Ephesians chapter 4 verse 26, the Bible says don't give the devil any entry point or a foothold or a footstool. So pray alongside with me and destroy number one secret sins that might be there, the gluttony spirit, the power of food, appetite, not controlling food, destroy that power in the name of Jesus Christ, being a workaholic, destroy that secret sin, gambling, in this teruma year, declare in your heart that I'm not going to gamble anyway whether it's triple three triple m whatever you call it all those money making schemes say i'm delivered ecstasy drugs whether legal drugs or illegal drugs declare by the power of jesus christ that i'm delivered from those powers of satan painkillers antidepressant alcoholism in the mighty name of jesus christ the son of the living god break all those powers of the enemy break all those powers of the kingdom of darkness in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god as you continue on the seventh day tomorrow, as you continue, uh, completion must come, establishment must come, wholeness must come, destroy the spirit of spending binges. Some of these people, they are anointed with impulse buying, the spirit of wasteful mentality, poverty mentality, declare the spirit dead in the name of Jesus Christ, secret sins of smoking, secret sins of tranquilizers, insomnia. Failing to sleep until you take tranquilizers. Break the power of Satan in the name of caffeine. Caffeinated. You are addicted to caffeine. Break the power of Satan. Sleeping tablets, sleeping pills, pornography, masturbation. Break it in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Pray alongside with me and say, Any secret sin in my spirit, in my heart, in my body, be broken by the power of Jesus Christ. Be broken. Be destroyed. Be broken. Be destroyed in Jesus. Any appetite to secret sins, be destroyed. Be removed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare the appetite for the things of God. Say, I declare the appetite for the things of God. My spirit, my soul, my body be whole, be made whole, be delivered, be made whole. As we declare right now, you declare again the sins of the spirit. The human spirit has got certain sins that it hides. It's not visible to the eyes of the people, but it's inside. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 20, the Bible says, Cast not the king, no, not in your thoughts. Cast not the rich in thy bed chambers. For a bird of the air shall carry the voice, and that which hath wings shall tell the matter. So it is what you call the birds of the air that carry. If you are a gossiper, you are slanderous, you are scandering other people, of course you will be susceptible to the cancer of the colony. That is without dispute and argument. But the other thing, take note, when you are talking about other people in a negative way, you are sowing your own seed that you are reaping your own spirit in your own body. This is what you call the sins of the human spirit. They are hidden, they are not sin. An example of those sins is 
you are breaking the spirit of anxiety. Matthew chapter 6 verse 20, 25 that Jesus Christ said, don't worry about tomorrow. So the anxiety is from the kingdom of darkness. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 he said, be anxious for nothing but in everything let your request be made known unto God. In the name of Jesus Christ, break anxiety. Break the demon of lust. These are sins of the spirit. Lust. Lusting after people's things. Lusting after other people's things. Not acknowledging and thanking them and appreciating what God does but lusting, envious, witchcraft. Break it in your heart in Jesus' mighty pride, arrogance, laziness, overeating, anger, immorality, worry, lack of discipline, bitterness. Some of the people have got ulcers and they've been told that don't eat spices they've eliminated spicy food but ulcers are still there because there's bitterness james chapter 5 verse 16 confess your faults to one another confess your faults to one another confess your faults to one another as you repent as you forgive other people let those ulcers die jealousy the spirit of jealousy this disobedience idolatry witchcraft these are the sins of the human spirit raise your voice and break every power of Satan in the name of Jesus Christ the Son of the living God destroy every power of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ break it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the Son of the living God I break you anxiety I break your spirit of laziness procrastination some of the people they were supposed to do things last year and they are, they are uh, falling into a myth this deception of Satan that I'm having new resolutions there is no such you've got to do resolutions every day you've got to do stop talking every day laziness spirit procrastination must be broken that degree that you said you'll do do it in Jesus Christ my that business that you say you'll start start it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ break the power of certain be disciplined master your time master your time because time will wait for nobody yes you spirits of certain procrastination die Die, 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 die. Witchcraft that is spells of Satan. Witchcraft that has been fired over your life, over your family, over your destiny. Let it die. Die. Spirit of disobedience. God told you to do things long time ago. You are still praying for new revelations. Yet the old revelations you never adhered to. You have never obeyed. Break the power of Satan in Jesus. Idolatry. Other gods. Idols. Idols. Material things. Materialism idols of your car, idols of your clothes, your body idols break those idols in the name of Jesus Christ, say Jesus you are the only number in my life, Holy Ghost fire you are the only number in my life baptize me with your fire set my heart ablaze, let me love you, let me love you be my lover, let me follow you, my heart is for you consecrate your heart sanctify your heart, in the name of Jesus Christ, any lack of discipline let it be broken, be destroyed lack of discipline be destroyed lack of discipline in reading and starting the word of god and mastering the word of god thinking that you're old that's a lie from the satan started to show self approved the white men that needed not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth let the word of god change your life like a two-edged sword discipline yourself master the food no pride no arrogance spirit of pride must die religious pride must die immorality must die gossiping demon must die slanderous demon must die come on pray in the name of jesus break the hold of satan anybody under the sound of my voice right now be delivered from the hold of satan the hold of witchcraft whether it's the food that you ate at night whether is the incubus, succubus, spirit sleeping with you, siphoning the power of God over your life. Let it be destroyed. Be broken. Cyst fibroid, my fibroid malaysia. Be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Sicknesses die. Sicknesses